Hello, my name is Megan. I'm a senior in the College of Arts and Sciences studying chemistry with a minor in history um, and another minor in media studies. And so I've really, throughout my time at UVM, been combining the arts and sciences, um, which has been so fun. Um, outside of the classroom, I'm involved as a tour guide here on campus. I'm the academic affairs chair um, for our student government association. I'm on the mock trial team, and I started a Glee club for watching Glee, the show, not um, and so I like have a lot of goofy roles, but I also have a lot of fun and take a lot of work seriously here. All right, so the Fleming Museum is the largest fine arts museum in Vermont, um, and it has a collection 40,000 items strong. It's so beautiful in here, and it's also free for all students. You can come in just to study if you're not taking a class in here, um, and it's just like this really cool space that's super enriching for all students that you can just get into. This is my exhibit that I curated with a group of students in an art history class called Art History 282, um, which was about museum studies. Um, and this exhibit is called Resist, Insist, Persist. And it's something that throughout the semester we were working on and over time like developed what it was going to be about. Um, we look at art and protests through four different lenses, gender, the state, um, race, as well as socioeconomic class. Um, and throughout the whole semester, we were Skyping in with different alumni who work in museums, talking about the relationship that people have as museum goers with the art and who's welcome in different spaces here at UVM. So this exhibit really examines that and also brings in art by artists who aren't typically shown in museums. Um, and that's what's really cool about it. Uh, this piece right here uh, is actually done by a UVM professor who works in the studio art department. Um, Mildred Beltra created this um, and it talks about the relationship between race and art. Um, and it's really cool that we have a local artist who was able to loan this out. So this is like the Egyptian exhibit that talks about like Egyptian art, but this was something that was super useful for me when I took a class on Egyptian history. Um, we would talk about Nagada pottery and things like that, which is in this case right here. And while I was writing an essay for that exam, I was actually able to like just talk about what I saw right here. Um, and that was just like super enriching being able to see what we were actually talking about. And it's just right here on campus. Um, but the other thing with that is talking about how a lot of these different things, um, the provenance of those pieces of work um, is really, really shady. So how we came to get these pieces of, pieces of art and how they wound up in our collection is another really interesting thing to look at. actually a chemistry major here at UVM um, and so as I've been taking courses in the humanities and the arts over time I've skipped out on a lot of like intro classes so to have things like the Fleming Museum and other different art pieces here on campus has given me greater context to what it is that I've been studying um, and it like is this great little supplemental resource for me. Welcome to Royal Tyler Theater. Um, this is the main theater here on campus. Um, any student, no matter what your major is, can participate in the shows that run year round. Um, so you don't have to be a theater major or minor to actually be in a production. It's open call auditions, so any age can also get involved. Um, there are three main stage productions throughout the year within Royal Tyler Theater. There's a one act festival for uh, senior students, as well as like a wintertime show. Last Last year it was a talent show. You're able to do all sorts of different things. It doesn't have to just be performing, though there are students group, student groups that do things like that. There's the university players as well as name pending and improv group here. Um, but there's also opportunities to get involved in tech here. There's also opportunities to get involved in lighting design, stage design, all sorts of different things. You can be any major to get involved in those things as well. There's also a pit orchestra and a pit band, um, ways to get involved musically. So if you're a music education major, for example, you're able to get involved in blocking shows and creating sound design for shows. Um, and it's just a really cool opportunity no matter what background you're coming from. 
All right, right now we're in Cohen Hall, which is a new building to our campus. It was made possible by a $7 million donation from the Cohen family directly to the arts. Um, so this opened up a whole bunch of new classrooms, drawing studios, a room where you could go and rent out high resolution cameras if you're interested in creating digital art or in a film studies class. Um, it's just provided all sorts of really cool new equipment for students to be able to utilize. Williams Hall is home to the studio art department, the art history department, as well as the anthropology department. It's a huge cornerstone for the College of Arts and Sciences. Something that is really important to me as a chemistry major who cares about the arts is adding context to my degree. Um, when I first came in to UVM, I didn't really understand what my degree meant. Um, and over time, I've gotten that context. So I can apply chemistry to all sorts of different things, all sorts of different applications, be that food science or doing conservation in a museum or something like that. Um, it's really added value to what it is that I'm studying. I'm better able to communicate with people because of it. I'm better able to understand what's being conveyed in scientific papers because I understand how language works. And so this has been something that has really enriched my own education and it's made me a better chemist, but also a better person. Hi everyone, my name is Sadie. I'm a current junior here at the University of Vermont studying music education in the College of Education and Social Services. When I'm not in class here at Southwick, I'm involved with Ski and Snowboard Club, the National Association for Music Educators. We have a chapter of that here at the University of Vermont, and I'm the co-music director of UVM's all-female identifying and non-binary a cappella group, the Cats Meow. I'm also involved within the music department with our concert choir, and I have been previously involved with Catamount Singers and the UVM Band. So there are countless organizations and groups um, and ensembles that are available for our students. So not all of them are affiliated with the music department, but we do have a lot of those. So we have orchestra, band, choir, chamber choir, there's a jazz vocal ensemble, there are so many jazz instrumental ensembles. So there are countless ways that you can get involved with something that is affiliated with the music department. Um, and all of those um, opportunities are available in the music office. The music building is a great place to meet other people who are interested in starting your own band also. Countless people who are involved in the music department have made their own bands. Um, I'd like to showcase some of my friends actually started their own band and then won the UVM Battle of Bands and were able to perform at Springfest. They opened for uh, the artists that came for our Springfest, which was so cool to get to see people that I have class with up there performing music in front of the entire school. It's really awesome. So if you want to be involved with music, all you have to do is look for it, listen for it. It's everywhere on campus. So we are coming into our hall that has all of our practice rooms, and these rooms are open to any student, so you don't have to be a music major to use it, which is really awesome. And we do end up getting a lot of students who just want to come and be able to play music. So sometimes they get pretty full, so it's hard to, to lock one down. So when I need to go practice for one of my lessons, um, Sometimes you gotta wait, but we have some upstairs and downstairs as well, so there's plenty of space. And it's always really fun to walk down the hall and hear what people are playing. Sometimes people are playing classical music, sometimes jazz, also sometimes just pop and something that they, you know, are really interested in. So it's cool to see everyone's different perspectives and what everyone's into. It's really, really awesome. Alright, so here we have a bulletin board which has sign up sheets for anything you could want. We have band, orchestra, wind ensemble, chamber ensemble, also for singing opportunities and voice lessons. If you're interested in anything, this is the place to come find it. And if there isn't any information about that there, you can come to the office, which is just down the hallway. They have the information for anything you could possibly need. Thank you. Um, we also have an archive library of tons and tons of music here. So if you're curious, you want to go perusing through the stacks, this is a good place to do it. This is my favorite place to sing in between classes because the acoustics are great. So the stairwell, you'll always find me singing. where a lot of our music students like to hang out. A lot of my friends who are music education majors like to hang out here between all of our classes since most of our classes are housed in Southwick. Um, so we can give a quick wave to all the music and other music students. Hi everyone. Um, and we'll head this way. 
really great space to come take a nap on the couches between classes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get your theory homework done, do whatever it is yeah. you need to, to do. Marco knows what I'm talking about. Um, so we'll head over to the recital hall and check in that. So if you want to take a little peek in through this window, this is where all of our recitals happen. Um, we have a ton of concerts, uh, so many genres. The Lean series has concerts here. We just had a workshop um, for any student with a jazz duo who came, so we got to come and listen to them perform, and then we actually got to perform for them and do a workshop, which was really great, because those are professionals who work out in the field um, and have been in our shoes and are now performing in the real world. So I've had some practice in my student performance recitals, and next fall, I get to share with my friends and family all that I've been working on this past four years. So uh, through my music lessons that I have with David and I, we, I get to prepare whatever music that I want, and and uh, perform that and show everyone what I've been working on. And I'm really excited for that. Um, and proud of all of the accomplishments that I've made and excited to share that with everyone.